good evening friends on the 14th of april uh, this coming thursday uh, we'll go live uh, with the focused agarbatti uh, pofari uh, course and uh, prashant will share the details with all of you i solicit support from one and all of you we'll make it more and more we we'll try my best to make it more and more interesting and interactive thank you the second raw material in our discussion today ambroxan like i uh, shared with all of you in the first session there are 350 to 400 natural raw materials out of the three say 400 out of this 400 only four are products of animal origin the first is musk the second one is ambergris civet and castoreum musk from male musk deer ambergris from the vomit of the sperm whale so this again is no more ambergris tincture is no more available to modern perfumery in the year 1950 henkel which is a german fmcg giant came up with the discovery of ambroxan the discovery was in the year 1950 but the commercial synthesis happened only in the year 1976 ambroxan is the key ingredient which is responsible for the characteristic odor of ambergris or ambergris ambergris is one of the four animal scents which is widely used in perfumery animal scents musk ambergris civet and castoreum musk we already discussed two classic musk ingredients galaxolite polycyclic musk and ethylene basalate macrocyclic musk we'll discuss other musk specialties in detail in the coming few sessions coming back to ambergris ambergris is from the vomit of the sperm whale which is a natural ambergris tincture is a natural porphyry raw material of animal origin no more available to modern porphyry so the answer is ambroxan how is ambroxan synthesized ambroxan synthesized from scleriol which is a component of clary sage oil clary sage oil also a natural of mari raw material from plant origin ambroxan is found in clary sage oil synthesized from scleriol ambroxan is also occurring naturally apart from clary sage ambroxan also occurs naturally in tobacco in cistus labdanum and cypress or cypress ambroxan is a classic ambergris specialty is a classic ambergris specialty ambroxan was first manufactured and marketed by henkel today we have amber more from iff ambrofix from jivadan ambroxide from simrise we also have ambrox from formanish some people say ambrox and ambroxan are the same for me ambroxan and ambrox are different beautiful ambrox also is a beautiful ember specialty molecule but different from ambroxan ambroxan occupies a pioneering place in perfumery because it was the first amber gris specialty to be introduced in modern perfumery it's a classic amber gris specialty which is can be used as a fixative what is the profile of ambroxan ambroxan can you guess the first wave of ambroxan is coming from a sperm whale sperm whale which is aquatic so the first wave of ambroxan 
is a faint fishy odor. Fishy. Very faint. Of course, predominant embery. Predominant embery. The smell of skin. The smell of old paper. Faintly animalic. Labdanum, which is leathery. Woody, as in cedar wood. There is a very faint, salty aspect because it is coming from a marine source. So the fishy and salty can be encountered, not the first time that you smell ambroxan, I discovered the fishy and the salty after years of years of trying to get proficient with ambroxan, a specialty ambergris molecule in modern perfumery. Remember this, the fishy and salty, it's important. Why it is important? I'll connect with this salty and fishy aspect of ambroxan in the next molecule, which is canone. But the predominant, the primary, the most important facet of ambroxan is ember, the smell of skin, the smell of old paper, woody as in cedar wood. Labdanum, faintly animalic, with a tinge of fishy and salty character. It's very powerful. The blotter, you dip it today and keep it on your stand, it will be smelling for one month. Ethylene brasilate, 200 hours. Ambroxan, one month, 30 days. 30 into 24 hours. Mind-boggling. This is modern perfumery. This is the power of science and technology. Synthetic organic chemistry at its brilliant best. To come back to embroxen. Very powerful. Elegant. Highly substantive. And highly stable. It can be used at 1% dilution in DEP or DPG or in IPM. It is not easily soluble in DEP or DPG. The recommended solvent is IPM, isopropyl myristate. But you can try in DEP. Ambroxan 1% dilution in DEP. You can use at 1% concentration. It's still performing. It's still perceptible. It is still contributes olfactive, olfactively to composition in a big way. From this 1% dilution, 1%, we can go up to pure 2%, 3%, 5%. Overdose is possible. It's versatile, like ethylene dosinate. Ambroxan is a very versatile ambergris speciality. We can use in florals, floral oriental, orientals, fujair compositions, aquatic compositions. I'll come back to why aquatic compositions, why salty, why fishy, then we discuss canon. This is the beauty of ambroxan. First whiff is a faint fishy odor. The fishy odor is perceptible to an experienced nose, but predominantly ember. Smell of skin, the smell of old paper, wood, labdanum, faintly animalic, and a tinge of salty and fishy aspect. This is the smell of ambroxan. Very elegant. Very powerful, very substantive, very stable, ambergris speciality available in modern 
Hopefully. Ethin Dasile, macrocyclic musk. Ambroxan, ambergris speciality. We now come to molecule number three, Calone 1951. 